In the greatest democracy in the world, voting is simple. Just kidding, it's a nightmare. Indeed, these states are not so united when it comes to voting, which is what you might expect in a country that still uses the imperial system. I live with two people, one of them from Ohio and one of them from Pennsylvania, and we've all had to do different things. On the request of my mom, I got registered online to vote, um, and I believe the voting day is November 3rd. I think it's a mixture of paper and the, the computer. The one I've experienced has been machine. We have a smorgasbord uh, across the states, um, and in some instances within states. A smorgasbord of freedom, giving states wide latitude to slice it any way they want to. From the provolone to the prosciutto, each morsel fewer days to vote, or an extra form of ID required. Meanwhile, Elections Canada ensures that we all vote on the same days in an elementary school gymnasium with tiny pencils like adults. Oh, really? And when we told people Canadians all vote the same way... I don't like it. Sorry. Sorry, Canada. It sounds like it, it, it's a, a simple way to do it, but you're in a complicated place. I think the state should determine what's best for um, its voters. Yes, that's freedom. Not like Canada, where PEI is forced to open their polling stations at 9 a.m., when we all know Deborah would prefer 9.15 because she takes the kids to dance before school on Mondays. The problem in the U.S. is states like the Salami, or what some call New Jersey. Here we have a bit of a situation. You sign your name, you go in, and there's levers. The ones I did, they pulled down a lever. It's a big, like almost like a big computer board. It tells who the candidates run in. You just press the buttons. Well, it is electronic, I'm sure, but the buttons that you push are almost kind of like a typewriter. These freedom typewriters keep no paper record because federal elections deserve the same level of security as voting for Dancing with the Stars. Each ballot in each state is different, but they're all long, like Donald Trump's tie long. It's like a big ass receipt. Many voters in Washington, D.C. were surprised they would be voting on Initiative 81 to decriminalize psychedelics like magic mushrooms. What the f Oh, yeah, man. In the U.S., not even the errors will be the same from state to state, and it has some worried about the outcome. I think it's going to be a circus. I do. <laughs> it, already, it already is. The election, it's going to be a show this year. Yeah, it's going to be a show. It's going to be, it's gonna gonna be, be a, a I don't know, I don't really have much to say. It's, it's hard enough to figure out what the f to say to ourselves. Um, sorry, Canada. Oh, no need to apologize, young man. When it comes to ways to vote, less might be best. Canada's little pencils might just save democracy after all.